This question is from Amal, and it has to do with her three-year-old uh, waking up in the middle of the night, or what you might consider uh, the early morning. She says, my three-year-old wakes up too early between 4 a.m. and 4.30 a.m., even on weekends. He goes to bed between 7.30 and 8 p.m. He sleeps through the night in his crib. He shares a room with his uh, one-and-a-half-year-old brother. He wakes up and comes straight to our bed. We let him sleep with us, maybe because he will actually sleep most of the time, but he tosses and turns. We have a routine that we follow each night where he puts on his PJs, turns the lights off in all the house, I don't know what everybody else does after that, uh, and then goes to bed. We hug, kiss, and say good night. Uh, well, so you have a good uh, bedtime routine here, uh, but the boy's waking up about uh, you know, 4 or 4.30. What I would suggest is a couple of things. Uh, what we do sometimes in these situations is we move the bedtime back in the evening, about a uh, half hour, 45 minutes, or something uh, like that. Um, you may not like that because that cuts into your free time, but you could consider doing it. Uh, you could also consider putting a floor fan on in the room. Uh, uh, that's for the white noise, it's not for the uh, wind, and that might help him sleep. Also make sure any light, early morning light, is uh, prevented from getting into the uh, room. Now another option, which is, is different, you don't want to do both of these at the same time, is to treat it as a nighttime waking problem. And if you look at the chapter in the book on uh, bedtime and nighttime waking, you'll find that when the kid comes in in the middle of the night, uh, which is still pretty much is the middle of the night, what you do is you assume they have to go to the bathroom or need a diaper change or something like that. And so that's what you do with no talking, no emotion, no lights or whatever. When that's completed, whatever, however they do, they do that, you take them back and put them in bed. Now here's the touchy part. You put them in bed, they may not want to stay here. This kid's used to sleeping with you and he's not going to like that. What you do is you, you sit by the bed until they go back to sleep. That's the totally unfun part. Uh, you don't want him waking up the other child in the room. That may happen. He may put up a fuss because he's not used to doing this. But look up the uh, nighttime waking thing and see that it's a procedure has to be done religiously. No, no lights, no talking, no emotion and all that. Uh, but you could treat it as a nighttime waking problem or you could move the bedtime uh, and see if that buys you any time in the uh, morning. So uh, tough, tough situation, but I think you can deal with it. Good luck.